switch, it's like the perfect pitch. It feels pitch and perfect, like when we first flirted. You take the pain away, like you a pain pill, or a Tylenol, or a Nabil. And every time I'm with you, it's like my mind smiles, and then my body follows. It's been a long while. I'm wondering if you still feel like your boy do. I'm trying to let you know, shout out to the list. Hey, what up, y'all? This is RK2, RK2 News Special Edition. Check it out, y'all. Behind the scenes, the don't go video number two. So y'all check it out. Hey, and I do appreciate y'all tuning in to the special news edition of Trying to Let You Know. And there we are out by the lake here in sunny California, having a good time on a beautiful day. You can see the beautiful mountain. So taking you behind the scenes, showing you a little bit of what we had to do to get the video created. And uh, what you'll know right now is we're working with a tripod. And there she is doing the leg work. Getting ready for the walking scene in the video that's out now. Y'all check that out. And I appreciate the love that y'all been given on the video and whatnot. That's what's up. Yeah, we fixing hair and everything. So I do believe this is the shot that we used in the video. And there's some more leg work. See, we repping the Lakers. Yeah. That's what's happening. And yeah, here we go. Yeah, you might have saw that. But here's here's the good part. Which I enjoy because I got to do some camera work. So I'm using a camera um, on a stick. There she is helping me adjust it. And we wanted some footstep shots. So this is how we did it. I just held it at the right angle and and boom. Yeah, that's what's up. But for real, it was a beautiful day. We had a good time with it. And once again, I appreciate y'all taking it out. It's song one off the Relate Project, right? So, yeah, y'all check that out. This is a little clip from outdoors on a windy night where she shot the um, the scene with the light. Just want to show you a quick something of this real quick. Yeah, it was dope. So we're going to move on to the Q&A portion of the show. And y'all can send some questions to RK2, aka RK2 at gmail.com. What is the relationship between Never Say Never and the Relate Project? Never Say Never and the Relate Project. Okay. Well, the Never Say Never music video. Um, if you check that out, it's about a, a couple that's had ups and downs and they're at the point in a relationship where they could put in the work that it takes to make it or quit, right? And um, I leave everybody at a cliffhanger at the end of the video. So it's like the girl leaves, dude's like, go on and get out, right? And then um, he sits down and thinks about it. And then next thing you know, he picks up his keys and he's he's out the door, right? So everybody's like, what happens next? What happens next? And, um, you know, so I listened and I thought about different possible outcomes, different resulting situations or resulting emotions that would come from that type of situation. And fans would come up to me and say things like, um, you know, that song really meant a lot to me. I can relate to that, you know. So... You know, and that was the intention when I created the song, uh, was to r relate to folks. Hence the Relate Project. So when the Never Say Never music video ends, push play on the Relate Project. That is, you know, the resulting situations and all that I just spoke about. Yeah. Can you talk about working with Travis Wyrick and Eastwood? Well, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, those are, those are somewhat separate, though they've both had things to do with songs on the same project um but but travis wyrick is actually the person who raised me in the studio and i love him forever for that shout out to travis lakeside studios knoxville tennessee where i was raised in the studio taught how to prepare um how to be productive and, and many other things emotionally and and performance wise the list goes on and on when you say that someone raised you that means more than saying that's my dog. He taught me how to do this or that. Now he raised me in the studio, and I'm I'm forever grateful. So um, I did my first. Actually, Travis has been involved with every project that I've put out except for Tina Cali Volume Two. Um, he produced um, Post Christian Society Volume One and the Anticipation EP, both at, at Lakeside Studios. And um, let's see, six songs on the Relate Project he produced. Uh, my boy CX3 produced two songs on Relate. 
On Technicali, Travis Wyrick produced two songs that were recorded at Lakeside Studios. And my boy CX3 produced six of them. And of course, um, let's see. And Eastwood, on Relate, on those eight songs that I was telling you that, on the six songs on Relate that Travis Wyrick um, produced and recorded, Eastwood did the final mix and master on those. And actually we have in the in the folders, you know, we've got a couple of different versions of Relate with different interludes and different ideas, different skits. And you, you'll see pieces that come out and, and it may come out as an NFT. Uh, we haven't, you know, I don't know. But um, yeah, um, but anyway, so, um, and, and, and they call me Mr. Tina Cali, right? So. Um, I've lived in Tennessee, and, and, and uh, my dog, my bro, Travis Wire, is my main man over there. Um, and my boy CX3, shout out to Mike D. You know what I'm saying? Mike D's been involved in a lot of my projects. CX3 been involved in a lot of my projects. My boy um, Pimp, what's up, Pimp, out here in Cali? You know what I'm saying? In Eastwood, those are those are some of my dogs out here, uh, California. Um, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? That's that, that's where Tina Cali came from. I'm a Tennessee boy, you know what I'm saying? Come out here to California to do my thing out here. You know what I'm saying? And you know, that's where that come from. But yeah, Eastwood, that's my dog out here. You'll see uh, a lot more stuff coming with us. I got a song coming out uh, with him and I and, and some other folks. It's, it's gonna be a surprise. I won't get into that one yet. But I do have another song. It's a remix of Draco from the Tina Cali Project with Eastwood doing the doing a little some something, something in the song. So that's going to be coming out. And uh, yeah, yeah. How did I meet Eastwood? Um, man, back in 2016, I was involved in the Independent Music Awards in New York City. And he actually heard one of my songs called Trying to Let You Know. And he liked my flow, my rap flow. That's from the Anticipation Project. And that's live. Y'all should check that out. Um, he liked my flow. But you know what I'm saying? And uh, blah, blah, blah. And then, and then down the line, a couple of years, you know what I'm saying? We, we would become friendly online on the internet. And then around 2018, it became more serious uh, with regard to the possibility of us working together. And we actually just took the step. And that's where you got the Relate Project. That's where you got those first six where he did the mix and the mastering and all these other versions that we have. That, they're actually length projects. They're not even cut up in singles. It's like full length like a production like take you on a ride with skits and stuff that you know what i'm saying a lot of this might take some clearances and whatnot but it's hard you know it's not even the 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 relate that i put out it's not even the same you know what i mean it's actually i don't want to say too much but yeah we got some stuff in the cut but um yeah um yeah we got a lot we got some stuff going on actually so, you know, a lot, a lot to come, a lot to come. So stay tuned, stay tuned. So any upcoming projects or videos that yeah. you can look forward to? Upcoming projects and videos, absolutely. Um, well, you know, I just put out the Tina Cali, Volume 2. Shout out to my boy, uh, Pimp. Yeah, in the Valley. What's up, what's up, what's up? Everybody at the Coachella Valley, it's love. You know, they call me Mr. Tina Cali from LA to the Valley. Um, you got to check out uh, Tina Cali Volume Two. Um, new stuff coming out. I have a surprise song, uh, music video gonna. Well, I guess it won't be a surprise, but this may come out after. But a music video dropping on Christmas Day, and um, uh, we're working on some other stuff too. Like I got a, I got my first country hip hop song. I don't know, if it's not my first country hip hop song because if you listen to "Don't Go," it sounds a little country, it sounds a little rock, it sounds a little R and B. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm a mixture, a gumbo of all things. I don't tie myself to one genre. I'm open with regard to my possibilities and um, capabilities. Anyway, the upcoming, you know, I'm gonna be coming out with a a country hip hop song. Um, it's called uh, OMW On My Way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, look out for that. It's really dope. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, yeah, Eastwood wanted me to do it, and I promised my my grandmother that I would do it, right? She wanted me to do a country song, so I promised her that. And I'm a country boy, so I've been doing country music and been around country music my whole life. So 
Um, you can look out for more country hip hop, most definitely. Um, and I have um, another one called Whoa Now, and it's crazy. It's one of my favorite songs that I've ever um, put together. And oh, it's like, it's funky, right? It's so funky. Uh, I rap in it, I sing in it, you know, I do a lot in it. And uh, really, you know, I tell you a little story as usual, right? You know, you love the storytelling. And I'm going to give it to you. But yeah, uh, you know, it's coming down the pipe. So you want to talk about anything upcoming or new with uh, the Eastwood music? Eastwood, yeah. Shout out to Eastwood. Um, everybody need to go check out Lost Angeles, right? It's out on all digital platforms. Eastwood quietly has dropped some music on all digital platforms. And boom, um, it's dope, but like the newest one that I've been vibing out to is Lost Angeles, and with everything going on um, around the way, I think it's a great thing for people to hear. He puts his classic flow on it with the, with, with with just a new, just you know his style continues to evolve, you know, so he's getting better and better, and uh, so yeah, the evolution of his flow is just amazing to continue to see because he's been dope since the beginning. Um, but yeah, check out Lost Angeles. I'm a, you know, hopefully we can put the picture up. And um, what I'm really excited about is a, is, a, is a song called California. And he's got so much music in the cut that I'm not going to speak on. Um, you got to wait and see. But when California hit, I'm trying to tell you, it is an anthem. Like on the level, I'm trying to tell you, everybody loves California love, you know, Tupac. Um, Dr. Dre, Roger Troutman. It's a classic. When it comes on, it, you can't beat it. Stuff like that. To live and die in L.A., that's hard, right? Those are classics, man. Let me tell you. I believe Black and Mild produced it. Not sure. F forgive me if I'm incorrect, but I do believe that that's the case. And Eastwood just kills it. Listen, it's called California. Hopefully, we can put the picture up because uh, I got a little early access to the the image. And it's the hardest shit. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, my goodness. When it drops, you're going to see. It's a classic. Yeah, shout out Eastwood. Black Bandana. Well, we got 30 seconds. But do you want to hit on anything about the Lift His Name music video? Yeah, Lift His Name is coming. Um, the music video from the Post-Christian Society EP Volume 1. I'm so excited to bring a music video to you and um perform the song and you know what i'm saying let's lift his name on christmas day coming december 25th 2022 yeah lift his name